Right, it's time now to find out a little bit more about Alex Wormsley and also about his teammates. So right now, from Wales at Rugby M, to you Alex Wormsley, this is the Amino Dealer. Aha! <laughs> knowing me, knowing you. Aha! Aha! I love that bit. I love it. It's yeah, my favourite part the of the face. show. Alex, um, congratulations on your move to Saints and you're now a Super League superstar. But we want to get we want to know a little bit more about you. So we've got a few questions. First and foremost about you and you as an individual. And do you just want you to answer honestly? Will you promise to answer honestly? Uh, I do. <laughs> What's your full name including middle names? <laughs> Alexander Simon Wormsley. Yeah, it's not as we had Jeffries. What else have we had? Oh, we had some shockers, haven't we? What were well, Nick Scrutons? Nick Scrutons were a good one. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Robert Jeffrey Burrow, though, that was funny. What's your position? Drop forward. Club? St. Helens. Previous clubs? Bartley Bulldogs and Dewsby Celtic. How much club? Dewsby Celtic. Dewsby Celtic. Uh, best rugby memory? Uh. Recent memories got to be signing for Settlers. That were, you know, unbelievable. It's, it's massive. But in a bit long term, it, I think winning the Yorks Cup final with the Jersey Celtic under 18s, you know, fond memories of that. Don't remember it too well. We had a few drinks after, but um, you know, that, that's that's up there definitely. No, no. not playing at Kingsley Ground, man. No, no, not going to uh, Kingsley Ground or Wakefield City and uh, other places like that where I got Happy knocked days. about a little bit like two years ago. Was it unexpected going to Saints? Yeah, it really was. Um, you know, to say I was amateur 18 months ago, I was still playing with Jersey Celtic in, um, in the Winter League. I was, I was still playing there. And to get signed to Batley was a massive shock. But then, you know, a 12 month later, to be go from there to the Super League, it, you know, no one expected it, at least myself. Worst rugby memory so far? <laughs> um. I think the worst one will have to be going to Wakefield City as soon as I think it was end of 2011 we went there I think we went with 12 men um, we, which was with Celtic we well we, we got one one lad lost to injury Tats a bit of a legend he uh, he went out injury so we had 11 men basically and we, I think we put 70 up them but you know it was just an awful day the, the weather was ridiculous and last tackle of the game I remember running it in and I run straight in last tackle. I stood out there prop and he's just lifted his elbow, cracked straight round, round chops. As a, you know, as nice as he's going to be put, you know, and say I've lost my temper. It's, it's an understatement. I've thrown the ball down and I've gone to lay into him. I've thrown the biggest punch of my life. I've never thrown a punch as hard. I've missed by about four metres. <laughs> I've gone stumbling to the floor and I've con gone on to get my head caved in by about <laughs> ten lads. <laughs> So that's, that is that's the one. Awesome. Profil, amateur. You know, you get these lads on who's been coming on here and we've had some top, top players. Lads who have played NRL, you know, top players. And for somebody to come on the show and, and say stuff like scrap that, at Wakefield. He's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, who's your favourite legendary player? Uh, apart from Mr. Batley, Paul Oliver. No. Yeah, apart from Mr. <laughs> Batley. Armstrong. Um... Oh, I've been a massive fan of Andy Favell. Um, he's, he's think what is what rugby league's about. Even though he's he's rugby union, you know, he, tough kid, skills, heart, strength, you know, everything, everything a forward should be. Right, who's your favourite player playing today? Um, I've got, I'm going to say Danny Moore for Batley Bulldogs, just because not for his on-field antics, more for his off-field antics. He's, he's a legend. I, lo I love playing with Marnie. He's a tough lad. He's got a lot of heart, you know. And uh, yeah, I'd say Danny. What's, what's his off-field antics? Whoa. What? I mean, <laughs> can I can I say? You can, can I say can what I, you want? Uh, as long as you don't say F I think, or B. I think it's my favourite Danny Marn antic was on, on, on a Wembley trip a um, few years ago for me. Um, Paul Eaton Stag, my old coach, and uh, we're in the Green Man, the pub, in on the field and. Marn is in an absolute disgrace. <laughs> he's unbelievable. He's he's had a few and uh, 
Anyway, he's, he's disappeared for 10 minutes. No one knows where he's gone. And he comes back to be doing the naked lobster crawl backwards, <laughs> bear crawl, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not a stitch on him. Everything's <laughs> off. And the green man, is, the land is its a good 50 metre length and he's gone from one end to other. Not a stitch <laughs> on him. I think that's my favourite Danny Moore <laughs> moment. Legend. Um, who was the best player you've ever played uh, with? Um, I'd say Johnny Lomax. He's uh, the kid's outstanding. He's, he's going to be world class. Like I said, I reckon he's going to be England soon. Um, yeah, Johnny Lomax. Who was the best player you played against? Jamie Peacock. Um, yeah, he's just unbelievable. He's, we've talked about him earlier. He's <laughs> yeah, he's outstanding. Who's your favourite player still playing today? Oh, um, Rob Burrows. I think he's just entertainment. You know, he's he's always doing something. So he, tough for a little guy. His tackle technique's outstanding. I think he tackles more above his weight. It's unreal. He, um, you know, he smashes people and he's well. You know what he's like when he's got the ball. You know, like bugs, are like proper. Imagine if a bug were like the size of like us, it'd be like a million times stronger. That's like Rob. He's like an ant. He's, he's like, like an ant. He's an ant. That's what he is. <laughs> Rob like the ant. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, what's your best try you've scored? Um, I'd tell you what, I think Halifax away last year for Batley, I scored a nice try. I think it was 60 metre dart. It's a it. dart? <laughs> you dart? Have, you, have you got a burn? Have you, what, sorry? Have you got a burn? Are you fast? Oh, well, I can I can shift. It's just getting, you know, when you're six foot five and you've got long legs, you can shift. It's just getting getting going which is the hard part but yeah that one nice try I think uh, it's on YouTube that's not a plug um, but <laughs> that, that's all I did last year have you seen me try it? it's on YouTube yeah you know when, uh, yeah no nice try um, what's the biggest hit you've ever taken who's cleaned you out oh without a shadow of a doubt it were um, Kafusi like not about two weeks ago when we played him he's um, we haven't took him to the club but you know we'll, the only five minutes left I think we're winning by about 35 points and, you know and, I could see him, he was just getting angry and angrier. <laughs> Absolutely. And I was terrified a little bit, to be honest. He's, he's following me from one side of the pitch to the other, and I thought, he's going to have me here. <laughs> and sure enough, I took it in. He, he's come from about fourth man in as well. He didn't even opposite me. About 10 metres offside, and he's just absolutely cluttered me. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> what nice. Who's the person that was most influenced your career? Um, I'd say my my old amateur coach Paul Eaton. He uh, he really got me back into game. I'd I'd stopped playing when I were about fifteen, sixteen, and you know I had a lot of issues. And I came back under eighteen, and I couldn't get into the side. Uh, I couldn't get in. I was overweight. I was unfit, and you know I think he made me run for about twelve months. I was shot, you know, and he really got me back back playing rugby, back enjoying my game. So yeah, Paul Eaton. Um, what countries do you qualify for internationally? Jamaica, Uganda, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no um, I, I, Scotland, Scotland and England. Are you going to play for Scotland at World Cup? Um, I'm thinking about it, I've been asked, but um, um, we'll see what happens. I think you should. Yeah, Danny Brough, legend. Yeah, he's unbelievable. How he's not playing for England, I don't know. We'll, we'll get on to that later on in our team of the year. Uh, if you could change one, one law in the game, what would it be and why? No, oh, it's got a bit of a charge. Bring it back. Yeah, you've got to bring it back. I think it, in moderation, it, it's got to be back. As long as you're not attacking the head, one of the best, one of the best things that separated Union from League with the shoulder charge, and it's, yeah, it's soft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really soft. Uh, what do you ho most hope to achieve in your career? <laughs> um, I think you've got to set your targets. I my targets, uh, hopefully, maybe international honours, um, wherever that's Scotland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Jamaica or Uganda um, you know just I think representing your country is it's a massive honour and um, I, that's up there and who's your rugby league man crush it's not Charnley um, I can say that much Elliot it's, um, I, I don't think I've got one I you have you have come out of the closet come on <laughs> <laughs> it's Danny Lee 
Danny yeah, it's Danny, it's Danny, Danny Lee. Lee from Dudesby Celtic. Is my man crush. Big shout out he's, there. He used to <laughs> egg on legs. He, he was flea bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was seeing him. I seen him on Saturday night. He could not talk. He could not walk. He, he, never was, talk. he was sick on himself at bar. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> him on a, then, then he turned around, trying to get out with a bird. <laughs> 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 and she just looked at him like, are you for real? 